Matthew Fashini, thanks for joining us. No problem, any time. How are you finding pre-season? You're seven weeks in now. Are things going to plan? They are. It's been tough, tougher than what I'm used to. We're training two sessions every day, getting home late, but it's all money in the bank for when the season starts. And what are you anticipating? Uh, still a few weeks to go until we kick off. What are you anticipating uh, in season 2011-12 for yourself? Um, hopefully just to play consistent week in, week out um, soccer. I haven't done that yet in my career, so try and break into the squad on a week-to-week -week basis and cement my spot in that 11, and hopefully we can fulfil our... Um, what we want to do and win the championship this year. And an interesting aside for you, you've inherited a pretty significant number at Melbourne Victory. I have, Kevin Muskett's number two. It um, came as a bit of a shock to me on day one of pre-season, but I'm very honoured that he chose me and asked me to, pick, uh, to wear the number, and I'm sure I'll do my best to try and keep that legacy going. And you and Kevin, of course, roomed together uh, when you broke into the side towards the end of last season, especially during the Asian Champions League. Are the rumours true that Harry Kuehl's put in a personal request to be your roommate next year? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't say that. I think Archie, me and Archie are going to room together, so that should be interesting. But um, yeah, nah, looking forward to it. So Archie loses Robbie Cruz, you lose Kevin Muscat, and the two of you team up. That's it. Hopefully Archie can propel me overseas somewhere like he did to Cruzy. <laughs> is he claiming that, is he? He is. He says he lifts his roommate and whoever rooms with him goes on to bigger and better things. <laughs> and what are you expecting uh, with the news that Harry Kuehl's now signed for the club? That must be a massive buzz for the, for the young boys. It is. Um, he was obviously a boyhood idol of mine and never thought I'd see the day that I'd be alongside him. And it's just a massive boost for the club and just individually for everyone. Everyone's got a spring in their step and we just can't wait to get out there and start playing with him. What do you think a guy like Harry brings to the table? Is it a wealth of experience or talent or a bit of both? What kind of impact do you think he'll have on the playing group? Oh, it's a combination of all those things. He's experienced, he's played at the highest level. He's won the Champions League, the FA Cup. He's played for Liverpool, big clubs like that. Um, what he brings to the table is, um, is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, and just his knowledge about the game, he'll teach young boys like myself a whole lot more than I already know. Will he be a better influence on you than Grant Brebner? <laughs> Definitely, Brebsy's a bit of a joke, as you just saw then. He likes to get his head on camera, but yeah, nah, can't wait to have Harry around. And just before we go, who's better on Twitter, yourself, Lee Broxham or Adrian Leia? Ado's a bit corny, to be honest. Broxy's probably the funniest of the three. Ado, he needs to lift his game. Ado, do something, mate. Matthew Fashini, thanks for your time. No worries, any time.